Ken Medica came to SOS in early 2020. He left due to a personal crisis and enrolled in the Life Transformation Program at Bay Area Rescue Mission. He graduated on Saturday last week and is eager to continue his career at SOS as a leader of SOS activities and a mentor for SOS staff. Well, my life was in a turmoil before I started working for SOS. I was, uh, you know, using, you know, drugs. I was, you know, drinking and I was hanging out with the wrong people. And I really didn't know which direction to go in. And I was just trying to find some hope. And uh, I had no hope before I found SOS. SOS came along and I found hope. SOS is all about, you know, transforming lives and uh, changing people's lives from the inside out. And I've been able to be uh, restored and renewed and refurbished all here in the mission. And it's just been an incredible experience because before I was, I was, you know, doing the wrong things and making the wrong decisions. And now I'm able to make the right decisions. I'm able to think straight. Now I've got a support group. And what did you do for SOS? I was a team leader. I went around and helped people, uh, you know, pick up their trash and uh, clean up their areas and uh, j just, you know, you know, give them a, a brighter day, you know, by having a good attitude and, and being a positive person and supporting them. It was the greatest job that I've ever had working with people. I, I, I love people. I love seeing people's lives uh, transformed and I love making a difference. And that's what SOS does. It makes a difference in people's lives. Buddy Bennett has worked for SOS for almost two years and has progressed steadily in assuming responsibility and taking leadership. His sympathy and understanding of the problems of homeless people makes him a highly effective team member. Recently, I found him doing some yard work at his new apartment in Richmond. Yeah, I live right here in this house here. Uh, I've been living here about two weeks now. I'm trying to do my part to keep the place uh, looking good. It's a nice neighborhood around here. Come see my new apartment here I have. Uh, okay, here it is. And it's not much, but it's home. I got a nice walk-in closet here. Uh, Bennett says his job with SOS has given him an income, purpose, and a pride of accomplishment that he hasn't felt in years. I used to live in here, in, in this, this dumpster area here. See that? I used to live in there. And then when it fill up with dump garbage, I have to sleep on the street, and then when they empty it, then I, I sleep back in here again. After years of sporadic employment, Bennett has had a steady job since February with SOS Richmond. Well, I'm picking up trash along the freeways, you know, helping the uh, homeless encampments out, you know, controlling the trash and trying to assist in uh, showers, you know, give people showers that are desperately needed. It made me feel pretty good because there's what, 10 people down at Ride, maybe, maybe 12 that were able to take showers and they weren't able to take showers before. One guy in a wheelchair, yeah, helped him out. He got a shower. First time he's had a shower in eight months, he said. Because he wouldn't have been able to make it down there. He said, maybe, maybe not. And I said, well, I'll push you down. If you do need help, just, uh, Bennett says his connection with SOS has helped him put his life back together. Well, it's helped me out, you know. It, gives, it gave me an opportunity to have a steady paycheck and... Uh, do something positive, you know, something that makes me feel like I'm needed, you know, instead of just waking up every morning, what do I do? Do I go collect cans or do I go look to cut grass or, or just do I go to the store and just drink a beer and think about what I'm going to do? It just gives me something to look forward to every day, you know. It gives me a purpose, you know, like a regular job, you know. Uh, you know, I was out of work for like eight years and he, he gave me an opportunity, uh, Daniel and, and, uh, Randy, they gave me an opportunity to get my life back on track, and I took advantage of it, and so far it's working out. So, you know, just getting back in touch with my family, getting self-credibility back, you know, uh, 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 positive attitude, you know. Keep, I feel better about myself, of course I do, yes. Yes, of course. And when I feel better about myself, I feel that my family feels better, looks more proud of me, I guess. I, 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 I not ignored my family, but I avoided them for the last four or five years because I didn't know how to speak to them because I was ashamed of the way I was living, you know. So at least now I have some steady work and paycheck, pay stub, and I feel better. You know, I'm not so angry inside, and, you know, I get, you know, just like anybody, you get depressed, you might drink, or you might just uh, go into seclusion and just 
I don't want to talk to anybody. All I know is I'm doing better. And uh, I want to make the most of it. I want, I want to try to go further. Carlos Gonzalez is struggling to hold his family together and provide for them in a time of crisis. On October 29th, the RV where Carlos lived with his wife Nancy and their two children was condemned and destroyed by city officials. Since then, they've been living in a nearby motel funded by donations from SOS supporters. SOS has purchased a newly refurbished RV, which the family will be living in soon. Meanwhile, Carlos has joined the SOS staff and has become a valued member of our trailer rehab team with skills in carpentry, plumbing, and electrical work. Carlos talked about what happened on that day on 24th Street when they lost their RV home. And they come and directly to knock the door with the police and say, like, hey, you need to go out. And I say, why? I say, like, only move it. And, and uh, the lady is very strict. And she's coming, like, go out now. And uh, no choice. And I call, call uh, Daniel. And Daniel came in right away and they helped me with the, the people. But I tried to move it, the camper to the other place, but the city said, no, we want to take it. But they don't take it. They smash my, the camper in the street. They helped me with, uh, with the motel, and they helped me with uh, my staff. Put it uh, for my staff, my clothes and the shoes, and uh, put in my stuff for my kids and, uh, and the motel. And I appreciate the team with Daniel, uh, they helped me too much. SOS has made sure that the family is in safe temporary housing. The children have continued in school without missing a day, and Carlos is working steadily. We are in the process of buying and refurbishing a used RV to replace the home that they lost.